Hey guys, this is Dr. JT. I have completed my MD General Medicine and also a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM. So I'll be starting a new series of videos about our family, I mean the General Medicine family, uh, about the General Medicine Residency, how uh, PG should cope up in the beginning of their residency and what are the things that they have to uh, learn from the beginning of, uh, itself regarding the clinicals or uh, what are the things that you, they need to study and what are, what are the things that they need to avoid uh, during their residency and lots more because uh, many uh, general medicine PGs are are in a lot of uh, confusion how they need to uh, cope up with the things in the beginning of the residency and so I think this series of videos will definitely help you and this video uh, is about what are the books that you need to study uh, right from the beginning of your residency and I'm really excited about this series and with no delay let's get it started first book Harrison principles of internal medicine which is the Bible of medicine if someone asks me what is my first love then I definitely say this is the book because this is the one which really changed the way I study medicine yes of course uh, right from uh, the beginning of your residency first year PGs or second year PGs will be advised right from your HOD to your seniors that you need to study this book but you know in the first and second year of residency we will find very less time to study and we don't really uh, study this Harrison later in third year for uh, exam purpose we'll be studying it but what I recommend personally is that you need to uh, complete Harrison studying Harrison for at least uh, uh, two times before you get an MD degree so start uh, studying right from the beginning of your residency whenever you find time you need to study but one more point is that studying Harrison really needs a special technique because it's a beautifully written complicated book maybe uh, later I'll make a full-length video on how you can uh, study Harrison and complete uh, during your residency but until then uh, study whenever uh, you have time uh, because this will definitely change your uh, life during your PG residency and also uh, if someone says this that Harrison book is a bad one then definitely consider that they don't exist on earth second book Washington manual of critical care my professors used to say that we need to carry this book wherever we go and whatever we do because this book has a good uh, good clinical approaches regarding the cases that we see in the ER or casualty so this book really helps you in the first and second year residency uh, so look into this book whenever you have uh, time in the ER or casualty because uh, as soon as you uh, see the case and read the book and apply it on the patient again then definitely this will uh, actually strengthen your for, uh, core uh, treatment protocols third book for fluid management Sanjay Pandya this is really a good book because till internship uh, we don't really get a proper training regarding the fluid management because our PGs or uh, senior residents will give a, a random uh, call about put NS or put RL or put 25D but we really don't know what are the indications uh, to put which fluid to uh, which particular uh, cases but uh, if you are a, a medicine PG you definitely have to learn fluid management because just by giving fluids you can kill a patient so this book right from the basics to the depth of the electrolyte imbalance or the fluid uh, management in your body will be given so beautifully try to get it and study it fourth book for ECG Shamroth and John Hampton I personally didn't study both of the books but how did I uh, learn ECG for this I have to thank my mentor and inspiration Dr. Sri Kiran who is currently doing his DM cardiology in NIMS Hyderabad. He is the one who laid a strong foundation uh, during my internship uh, for uh, ECG and later on I have uh, uh, heard classes of uh, Dr. Dilip sir and also Dr. Deepak Maro sir and I have collaboratively made all the information into one book uh, uh, the way I have uh, I can understand and fr right from the basics to in depth and also I constantly kept on on seeing the ECGs um, uh, to correlate with what I studied and uh, how uh, I can interpret ECGs so uh, what I uh, what I feel is if you really wanted uh, if you really wanted to study about ECG go with these books or by looking into ECGs by trying to in uh, interpret or asking your seniors that would really give more knowledge than the books and I'll try to uh, I'll try to make my ECG notes into a PDF and make it available for all the medicos very uh, very in the near future and if really time permits I'll try to make video classes on how uh, you can interpret ECGs as well fifth book Achit Balor clinical manual for internal medicine this is the best book when it comes to clinicals CNS is really good in this respiratory is also very good for CNS there are other books are also there like Dijong and also Bickerstaff Dijong there is no doubt that is a classical book even DM neurology people will study that book but I personally recommend
recommend not to study Beckerstock because there are a lot of mistakes and uh, there are a lot of misleading signs and examination part. So try to avoid that Beckerstock for CNS. Uh, Achit Balor is enough. Uh, like for other clinical manuals are also available like Alagappan or Hutchison. Both of the books I didn't really like it, so I uh, won't really suggest you that. Sixth book, Paul Marino ICU manual and also KPP Abilash for emergency medicine. If you are posted in ICU or in emergency uh, critical care unit, then definitely these two books will really help you because uh, they have good treatment protocols right from the big, uh, right from the basics to the concepts. So if you are really interested in critical care medicine, go for these two books. But these two books are a bit of volatile. So try to make some notes. So later on, it will be really helpful for you uh, during your rounds. Seventh book, my favorite book that is Ragora book of cardiology. This That is the best, best, best cardiology clinical book that you will ever study because I have studied that during the COVID lockdown completely and literally fell in love with that cardiology book because right from the basics to the concepts to the examination part a part of the uh, cardiac uh, cardiovascular system really given so beautiful so if you wanted to uh, learn cardiology properly go study that book you will definitely fall in love with cardiology book of Raghav Rao so those are few books that I have studied during my residency there are a lot many books but right in the first and second year these are the books that you need to stick on if you wanted to learn medicine more interestingly and uh, yeah as i said the what are the books that you need to buy for you harrison and also washington manual will be enough and remaining all books you can study uh, from the pdfs if you are a pdf guy because i personally uh, likes to study um, from the pdfs because i could carry uh, the book in the ipad itself because i have a lot of medicine books available on my ipad so i can study whenever i want uh, so i generally download all the medicine book pdfs from a website called jet library the link to that website is given below in the description go check out and download whatever books you wanted but if you wanted to if you are a book guy and wanted to buy them these are the seven to nine books that you can buy during your residency remaining you can just learn it from the pdfs as i said and that's it for today hope you all loved this video if you really have any other doubts regarding the books that you need to study during your general medicine residency then you can always ping me on my instagram or you can comment down and if you wanted more videos like this then do like share and subscribe to my channel dr jtm and i'll be back with another great video until then bye take care